What's going on everybody? It's Bonnie Hunter D. And it's time for me to do shout outs. Yes, shout outs. I give shout outs to all of you who buy merch from my channel. It really helps the channel. As you can see I have on some right now. My wife is wearing some. You should be wearing some too. It really helps the channel. I appreciate it so much. Click the link in the description. Here we go. Derek from Kansas. I appreciate that, Derek. Margaret from New York. New York. Forget about it. Appreciate it, Margaret. Bruce from New Zealand. Thank you, Bruce. Dina from Texas. Thank you so much, Dina. And this one is who? Maverick's dad loves him. Michigan. You're from Michigan. I appreciate that. Jamie from Indiana. Thank you so much for that. And Noreen from California. Really, really appreciate that. And this extra special shout out right now is going to go to my man, Brayden. Uh, we did a live uh, stream not too long ago to celebrate our, our, yours and mine, 100K subs. Braden was a cheerful giver, and listen, man, I really appreciate it. I wanted to say thank you on a video instead of doing it on a uh, live chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Braden. All right, appreciate it. Everybody, love you. Enjoy the hunt. Yo, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Uh, today, I am going after Melissa King. She's 21 years old. Uh, she's 5'4", 140 pounds. And she's out on bond right now for credit card fraud. And I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, so what I did, I did something a little bit clever this time because it's been so hard for my, my guy to find her, my other bounty hunter to find her. He said, D, I give up, man. You can try. Okay, so I got the file. And I don't know if you want to call it luck because I don't believe in luck. Everything comes from upstairs. But anyway, I was able to find this young lady on <laughs> on a dating site. Yes, my software can find you. You can run, but you can't hide. So yes, I did go on a dating site and I've been, uh, you know, kind of chit chatting. I know my wife looking at me funny. Hold on, baby, wait, just hold on. Let me just finish my story. I've been chit chatting with her for a couple days. So uh, because of my suaveness, uh, I was able to get a date. So Bonnie Hunter D will be going out on a date. Baby, I'm not cheating on you, but yes, I'm going out on a date, yes. But here's the catch. She think it's a date, but her ass going to jail. So, I'm going to go meet Melissa King at this uh, restaurant. I gotta call her though, so what I'm gonna do, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call her, let you guys hear the conversation, and uh, cause we are supposed to be like, you know, oh, let me know if you're gonna be able to do it. So I'm gonna call her, say, yeah, I can do it. Let's go meet, you know, meet me at this restaurant. So, I already have a restaurant in mind, so, I'm gonna call her, lock that restaurant in, turn the camera back on when it gets time to that, to the uh, apprehension or whatever information I can give you, and we're gonna go from there. I'm actually pretty excited for this one because, you know, going on a date, you know, I'm married, you know, I ain't supposed to be going on dates, so this kind of, you know, let's see what happens, okay? All right, stay tuned. Come ride with me. All right, so this is what bounty hunting is all about, you guys playing the part, creating stories, am I lying? I don't want to call it a lie, I'm just doing my job to apprehend a fugitive. So if I have to bend the truth a little bit and go on a dating site to try to catch a fugitive, then God damn it, I'm gonna do it. Come on, dale, let's go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm going to call Melissa to make sure she's gonna meet me at this restaurant. Bonnie had a day, got a date, right? She got a date with me. So let me see if she uh, pick up the phone here. I got Patty Mayo with me too, you guys. Y'all can see him right there. Hey, what's going on, gorgeous? It's D. Hey, I was just thinking about you. I know we're going to this restaurant. I was just like thinking about you. I just had to like call you again. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> oh that's sweet. That's sweet. So, you know, I'm really feeling you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, what, what you got on? If you don't, I mean, I'm not trying to be rude. You know, I want to show respect. Yeah. But, but what you got on? Sexy floral dress 
sounds beautiful. I bet you look amazing. So, what what color is that dress? It's probably my favorite color, huh? What color is it? <laughs> it's peach and black. I'm gonna take flowers on it. Oh, snap. That's cool. Is it peach and black? Yes. That's awesome. That is awesome. I bet you like rocking that out. Are you wearing that just for me or are you just wearing that just because? Oh. That's very cool. That's very cool. So, I listen. I can't wait to see you, and um, I'm gonna be there. I would say my navy is telling me I don't know, about 10, 15 minutes, not even. Okay. Can't wait to see you too. Right on, right on. So, what what kind of car you drive? So, because what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull up right next to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in the Toyota Camry Solora. The um, I mean the silver one, the convertible. Oh, a silver convertible. Solera, oh, oh, Solera, those are really nice. Yes, yes, so, yeah. Okay, well, listen, listen, sweetness, I can't wait to see you, and listen, I'm a respectful guy, so I know this is our little first date, so I'm not, like, trying to be all dirty with you. I just, you know, I'm respectful. You know, everything is cool. Let your guard down. You're good, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, so I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, talk to you. All right, sweetie. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. All right, my wife is holding the camera, baby. I'm sorry, I didn't mean any of that shit. Um, so, on another note, we are in, in uh, route to the to the restaurant, and I'm gonna turn the camera on when we get in the area, and let's see if we can catch this, uh, this fugitive here. Yes, this credit card fraud lady that we gonna get off the street today. And no, it is not a Bonnie Hunter D naughty girls it's not one of those kind of videos all right all right i'll turn the camera on in a second stay tuned okay i just showed up here in this this lot i'm gonna just i gotta let uh patty know uh what i've got going on so he's not sidelined so come on with me we're gonna walk over to patty's car okay come on patty mayo Right? What you, I don't know if that's if I said clap I got, or if you're going duck hunting. I got this on the what are, what are you what are, what are you you full Franklin today? No, baby, you, I'm just coming to give you some love. You've been, you've been watching too much Grand Theft Auto. Why well, everybody say I look like Franklin from Grand Theft Auto? Y'all let me know, but I don't think I look like Franklin from Grand Theft Auto. But if Grand Theft Auto is making a movie and y'all need a Franklin and somebody to play Patty, oh we're gonna do that for sure. We down for shit like that for sure. Let me tell you who we going after today, partner. We are going after Melissa King. She's 21 years old, 5'4", 140 pounds, credit card fraud. Now here's the thing. This young lady- Wait, right what did I say? 5'4"? She's 5'4". Oh 140. shit. 100, 140 pounds, all right. 5'4". Okay. I got a picture in, in, my, in my vehicle. Okay. I'll point it to your car. It's not I your vehicle, sir. My vehicle's over there. So here's the thing. I've been talking to her for a couple of days on this dating site. Our software- Oh yeah? Yes. yeah? Yeah, So we can find anybody on the software, so if you try to run, me and Patty, we will catch you, we will find you. Match.com is not a software though. It's not, no. But <laughs> I found her, well, what it is is a social media search. A social, did I say social? I don't know. It's a social media oh, search. Did a social media search and, yeah. I, and her name popped up. So I ran that, ran that, a couple names popped up. Yeah. And you know how we work it, I don't have to tell you, it's boring, but I found her. Yeah. Contacted her, right? Yeah. Got a date with her. Oh, and you're gonna catfish. Bonnie Hunter did. Got a date. I don't want to call it catfish. It's more like did bounty put, fish. Did you put your picture fish. up there? Like, who does she think she's meeting? No, I does mean, she I think put, she's meeting D? No, my wife set the site up. I didn't do okay. it. Just to let y'all know, my wife handled all of this shit. I didn't have anything to do with pictures and text messaging. She's been text text messaging my wife, not me. Okay, but I talked to her. Okay, of course, my wife can't talk to her. So yes, my wife got some pictures and you know me my shirt off you know I was you looking think, all like you know my wife chose yeah. nice pictures of me you know so, so you're gonna you're gonna take the belt off and everything so that she's not like ah! and runs away no because okay. she sees you coming to this she's gonna be like Dude, running when she sees this i'm like hey how you, you know we just gonna how are we gonna approach her her guard is completely down so yeah we're just gonna tell her hey you know what you miss your court date woman it's over i mean it's not she's probably i don't know i don't okay. know she might pull a gun out on us you know how it is but she doesn't we know me know. I, get, know I could take my vest off and like talk her up and shit. You could. Yeah, I could. But what could you I'd say? I'd be like, to hey her? girl, what, what, you, what you doing here? What you waiting for? Is she black or is she white? She's black. Okay, that might. I, I no, can't talk like, like that. No, she might like you. You never know. I no. never. I've have dated one black girl my whole life. 
Oh, that's you never knew that, by the way, did you? No, I didn't know that. In Boston, I thought you always nope. Was for in Boston, the white, white nope, girls. Nope. In Boston, I dated a very nice young black. Girl. What was her name? I don't want to tell you her name. Not in your ah. show. Not in your show. Go look at my Patty, exes Patty and stuff. Got secrets. Hey, hey, I've been known to play with chocolate. Heck, Patty liked the dark chocolate. A little bit. You got jungle fever. A little bit. Little you bit. got jungle fever. All right, so um, she should be there shortly. And then uh, we'll just go from here. I'll be on the walkie. If I pull up first and I get out of the car, I'm just walking around and kind of do my patrol, right? Okay, that's fine. And I see her, I got PAD, I go, you know, hey, I got PAD, then you come up. That way, if she sees you and tries to bolt, I'm already right there. That's and fine. I can just get a hand on. Hey, that's fine. Let's stop. do it that way. That way works. All right. We just got to take her to jail. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Be careful. I don't want you to break your neck. You got backwards. It doesn't go as fast back. Here, Gordon. Here, show It doesn't really go that fast back. Oh. You fucking want to be surfer on concrete. Look at this. All right, man. Come on. Alright, haul your ass, nigga. Haul your ass. The fucking thing is, the fucking thing is pretty cool, though. Why am I on your side, sweetie pie? Because I, I was going to get the door for you. See, I'm that kind of husband, because I know I'm going to go meet this girl. And my wife, yeah. you know, no, 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 you know how wives well, are. Let's go, girls, before he gets too late. Alright, I'm just going to the door for you. You wouldn't have a no more. Por favor, bella. Mucho gracias, dame un beso. Dame un beso. Mm, see, that's how you that's how you kiss your wife, keep her happy when you're going to see another chick. <laughs> All right, partner, let's go. You ready? She's driving a Solera silver uh, convertible. Solera. 10 4. Do right, you have um, any clothing description? Yeah, she's wearing a dress. It's like a peach dress, flower dress. Okay, so we just showed up. Patty is doing. Patty is doing some cold five over there, so I can have this light on momentarily. It's Silver, this. Solera, convertible. I'm searching. I got up front, I got a Subaru. Okay, so she'll run the corner. Patty's over there to the left, but I'm waiting until he makes at least positive ID on that vehicle. And plus, you guys never know she could she could be a psycho setting me up to kill me or rob me so you never know even though i'm there to arrest her you just never know in these dating sites who you're meeting so always be careful okay i got a, a vehicle coming in back of me i don't know who that is partner do you have eyes on anything uh there is a vehicle in back of me but i can't really tell what it is okay negative it is not our perp okay partner i'm gonna call her and see if she did. I'm gonna make sure she didn't stand me up. Damn, that'd be messed up if she did. 10 4, the street, checking the Domino's parking lot. All right, babe, so what I need you to do, it's real dark. And we got the camera on. Hello? Hey, it's D. I was actually looking for you. Are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Where? Are you in the parking lot? Yeah, I'm in the parking lot. Um, um, I'm parked like near the trash can, it looks like. Oh, near the trash can. Okay. Give me a minute. I think I might be around the corner. Okay. Must have got a little lost. Hold on. What they say, absence makes the heart grow fonder or something like that. I might have got that wrong. But... <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, so I'm really sorry to keep you waiting. I'm, I should be there very shortly. Don't leave okay. me, okay? I'm not gonna leave you. Uh, okay. All right, baby girl, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. All right. right. Okay. Bye. 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 I'm supposed to meet her at this little restaurant. I'm actually running late because I went to the wrong place. So I had to call her back and um, apologize, which you guys heard. And um, now. I've got about 0.6 miles to go, and I just made Patty get caught at that red light, so I gotta pull over and wait. But I'm gonna keep this camera rolling just so you guys can see that bounty hunting is not perfection. This is not perfection, we're not perfect, right? So when I tell my stories, when I say, hey, come ride with me, man, this is uncut, you know? I mean, I shouldn't say uncut, uncut, like we don't show like really bad, bad stuff, but in terms of our mistakes, uh, sometimes we do make mistakes, right? Everybody does. But that's still not an excuse to not try. You have to always try, right? Okay, and try your best. Okay, so while I'm rambling, I'm waiting for my partner to show up. We're gonna try to apprehend this young lady. She is on ice right now. She's waiting and just 
waiting for me to go and spend all that money on her, right, for this date. But it's not gonna happen. She's gonna have a date with LAPD. Bonnie Hanna Catfish. Who hungry? Who's hungry? I got a cilantro right here, no yes. convertible. Yes. I think that might be her though. Let me, uh, hold on, let me, I'm gonna drive past. Oh uh, wait, there's a, soft, there's a soft top one right behind it. Yeah, it looks like her car is gonna be right there to your, it's the second car on the left. Let's buddy, let's. All right, on the right. All right, you go. Buddy, you go first. Go. You go in first. All right, I'm gonna park I have on. a short haired black female in a soft top convertible. The second car on your right as you pull in. Copy that, partner. Let's move. So her name is Melissa King. You take, you take driver. I'll take driver. I don't want to scare the shit out of her. I'm just. Yeah, but I just want to do this. Hey, Melissa. Hey. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Don't let this scare you. I ain't trying to scare you. You're Melissa King, right? Yeah. Okay. How you doing? Hi, Come on out. You're looking nice today. Don't be scared. Okay. I'm not here to hurt you. Hey, okay. Me. But listen, go ahead. You can close your door. Where are your keys at for your car? Uh, right here. In the okay. Place. All right. Okay. I want you to understand something. I have a warrant for your arrest, okay? Okay. I'm not going to go hands on on you. But I'm not gonna hurt you. What all do right? you mean a warrant for my arrest? Your credit card fraud. My you what? Your credit card fraud. You didn't show up for court. That's why I'm here. What? The okay, okay, don't fight me. You're what? looking too nice to fight. Look, you're looking too nice to fight. So come over here. Just come on. Nobody trying to hurt you. Come around. What is this? Come around. No. Uh, don't I fight don't us. Know. Don't fight. I'm not trying to hurt you. Okay? I'm Hold D. Back. Hold back. I am D. Oh, seriously? I'm D. You dirty mother. Oh. Yes. Seriously? Yeah. Seriously. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to fuck Is that how you're going to treat me? I thought we had a date today. I thought we did too. Okay, yeah, we got a date. You got a date at LAPD. I've been trying to, I've been looking for you. What the fuck? Yes. Oh, I got you. Hold on, oh, let them fix your cuffs. We're you, not trying to hurt you. Stop fucking fixing Let them fix your cuffs. Like fish, I can fix your cuffs. How about Relax. that? Relax. Hey, but that's a great dating site, though. I would have never captured you if you weren't on there. They've been looking for you. This is some bullshit. Yeah, you cost this my bail bondsman bullshit. some money. You're gonna cost him some money if I didn't get you tonight. That's almost that summary judgment. You yeah. can kiss my ass, look what you can do. Well, I'm sure if we would've had that date and I was single, that would've never happened still, okay? Wow. Come around the front, oh. This is bullshit. Think about it this way. Where you walk, you know which car you walking to? Look at, look how, look how mad she is at me. It looks like you Rihanna going to jail. Please don't. Hey, but let me ask you this though. Do I look like my pictures? I look like my business? Actually, I look like you look business. worse. I look worse? Yeah, you look fucking But worse. on the phone, you was calling me baby and shit and all this other stuff. Now I look worse in my wow. pictures. Okay, so what I'm going to do, hold on, come over here because we're not trying to hurt you and you are complying, okay? And I had to set you up to do that, all right? I have a female officer here who needs to search you, go through your pockets and shit like that. Bring her on this side of the car, bro. You going over here? Okay. Out of the road. Okay, I'm so you. used to putting people in, locking them up right I, away. I prefer you not to become roadkill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all yeah, think this shit is funny? It is very funny. Wow. Because you oh, got, you got, you got, face. what do you, what do we say? You got bounty hunter deep fished. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you didn't How know I was a fugitive recovery agent, huh? Coming to get your ass, huh? Did you tell me that? Why I should I? That's part of the whole capture. That's the capture. Oh, yeah. Well, if anything, look, at least you look nice. So they don't see look nice? Yeah, they look great. Look nice. Okay, step down over here, right by the car. I'm gonna have a female officer search you, okay? Is that all right with you? Uh, do or do I you have want a choice? me to do? No, do you I do. have a choice? You do have a choice for me, but not for the female officer. I can search you too, but I don't you want you to You have to get searched either way. Don't I didn't want to touch you. I got you right here. That's why I have that camera for the judge to document, okay? So my female officer can tell you to touch you, okay? You gonna hold on to a partner until I get to jump? You all right? Girl, you got catfished. Ain't that a bitch? That's funny. I've never no, done- No, you a bitch. I've never done that to anybody before since I've been a bounty hunter. This is like one of my favorite captures. Bonnie Hunter D catfish. Tastes good, don't look at her face. Shit tastes good. All right, so go ahead. She's gonna, she's gonna go ahead and search you. Can you move your feet apart, please? Two feet apart. Thank you. What was in here? Just pin these shoes. Keys, is that okay to have keys on me? Yeah, but not in the back of the car. What you need those for? Do you have anything else on you? No. Where's your ID at? In my car. Okay, do you want us to get your, your ID car? for you before we go down there? No. The 
it's in my car. Do you want to take it with you? All right, here you go. No. How are you going to call people? Isn't there like a phone there for me to call? Yeah, but do you have everybody's number memorized? That's what I'm saying. If you might want your phone, so you can go through your contacts. Fine. So you can call Fine. somebody. Fine. Get my fucking phone. It's in the well, car. Why you get my fucking phone? What I'm talking to you so nice. That? I'm just saying, hey, like, you let's make sure you're mad at me, not at him. I'm just trying to make sure you have the phone number. You're telling me how, who I need to be mad at? No, talk to him. He'll help you out. Go ahead. I already catfished you. I'm done with you. Where's your phone at? It's in my car. Where in the car? I don't want to go through all your crap. It's in the, the department thing. As soon as you open it okay. up, you're going to okay. see so it. Okay, so let me sit her down. Where's the, where the keys at? I got them in my pocket. Mark. Anything else you want to go down, down to jail with? No. Question, is there anything else I'm gonna go down to jail with? Are you serious? Well, right maybe now? you had maybe you had a different pair of shoes. You want to go to jail on heels? Loosen that grip. No, Again, I ain't gonna loosen that grip. Well, what you gonna do about it? Exactly. I'm not hurting you. I document everything for moments like this when people say that I'm hurting them. All right, I'm not hurting you, sister. So you can walk, bring your ass, nigga, like we say back home. Bring your ass, nigga. And sit down. I'm being nice to you. And watch your head. Be careful. I don't want you to mess up them shoes in a nice way. I'm going to stand this way so you don't think nobody gawking you. Go ahead, put your legs in. Don't kick nobody. Do you have another there pair? There you of, go. Do you have another pair of shoes in your car? Yeah. Okay, where are they at? You want me to grab them so you don't have to go down to jail on heels? Yes, please. Okay, why don't you kick your feet out for me right here? Go ahead, make sure we get this up. One sec. Hold these for me, partner. Here, I got them for you. Don't try to kick me or nothing, all right? You can tell me how, they, how these come off? Oh, just okay, just a buckle. Some light. Let me give you some light, partner. See the other foot? You sneak about that way. Hey, come around this way. The camera. The way you do. He's turning. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. Thank you. Kind of hard to do it, well, Okay, you want me to put these back in your yes. car for you? Please. Okay, where are your shoes at? They're in the. Side. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, Patty's gonna go over there and check the car. While he's doing that, um, I'm gonna talk to her. And then we're just gonna wrap this up. It was pretty easy. You know, it happens. So, come on in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and interview uh, Melissa King. Um, Melissa, I'm just documenting right now. Um, you don't have to answer me if you don't want to. Um, but I try to talk to uh, most of the fugitives that I capture and um, you know did you want to talk to me or no I just have some questions for you it's up to you Go ahead. okay you're 21 years old and you have a credit card fraud on your record can you let me know what happened and the reason I'm interested in this is you are a first-time offender and as funny as this may sound I like first-time offenders I really do why because I like to see if I can help you so you won't ever do the knucklehead shit again so not that I like the crime that the first-time offender committed but it gives me the opportunity I feel like I'm giving back you know in my little odd bounty hunter D way you know what I'm saying so, with that being said, if you can let me know what happened, there might be a chance for you. And, and, and I know this is a slim, slim chance because we've been searching for you for a long time. Now, why didn't you make it to court? Let's get past that question first. Oh, my granddad was sick and I had to take care of him. So, I wasn't able to make it to court. I found him to be more important. Okay, and is there a reason why you didn't call my boy? He's my good friend, um, the the bail bondsman who bailed you out of jail. Is there a reason why you didn't call him? It's been a long time. You didn't let anyone know. You just disappeared. Is there a reason? And now, how long? How sick is your 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 grandfather? Is he terminally terminally ill? Is he still in the hospital? Are you his caregiver? Give me some ammo to see if I can help you. Stage three cancer. I mean, I mean, the last couple of days, possibly with him, and I just felt it was more important to be with him than to be in some courtroom. I don't want him to know I did something with this. Okay. Now, 
Miss King, um, you still are obligated. I, and I, I don't want to sound like no heartless motherfucker, first of all, okay? I, I understand that your grandfather, you know, would I have done that? Yeah, I would have stayed with my grandfather too. I'm not bullshitting. I would have, but I would have called the bell bondsman let him, to let him know that I did that shit. But I probably would have still stayed two of his, his last days. Um, but I still would have let someone know. And that's the responsibility that you have when somebody puts up money for you to get your ass out of court. I mean, out of jail. Okay. Now, I'm going to see if I can get your bond. Um, if my if my boy would pick you up again, but we're gonna make some very very strict terms and conditions on your bond, like checking in. If he does this, if he does this, uh, checking in once a week. Are you working? Yeah, I'm working. Okay. Checking in once a week. Probably put a curfew on you. Things like that. Um, so it, it'll be very strict if he decides to pick it up again. And it's tough because you were gone so long and not let anybody know where you were that I had to find you. The other bounty hunters gave up on you. I found you. But there still might be hope because you're a first time offender and that excuse that you gave me, which I always check everybody's excuses when they tell me shit. I just don't go, oh, okay. I go back and I find out. I'm a bounty hunter, babe. I look for all signs of lies and loopholes and everything. That's my job, okay? Now, if my guy picks up your bond again, would you, are you going to be doing that? Would you be checking in? Are you okay with stuff like that? Or do you want to stay in, in jail for 60 days until your court date? Um, I'm going to check in. I'm you going to stay in. with my granddad. Okay. Um, okay. So if your granddad, I'm sure, hold on. I'm sure if something really, really, really bad happens to your grandfather, like he passes, heaven forbid, and you need to go to a funeral and you're supposed to check in. Listen, I still need you to check in and if, go to the funeral. I'm not saying that that's going to happen, but I'm just saying if it was the case like that, 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 you know, where it's just so important that that comes first, I still want you to check in. As heartless as that may sound, you still have to do that. Will you be willing to do something like that? Yes. You would. Okay. So, and for all that it's worth, I don't like that I, um, I had to lie to catch you, but at the same time, I'd do it again just to get people off the street that need to be to need to deal with their problems that they've created for themselves and to confront them problems you understand what I'm saying so I feel that even though I did lie to you it's in the greater good because I wouldn't be able to possibly help you right hear your story and it, see what goes from there okay now did you have any questions for me before I turn off my camera for documentation Okay. All right, y'all. That's it.